So here's another John Fahey lesson. This one's going to be on Poor Boy, an instrumental song that he kind of adapted after Bucka White's version of Poor Boy. So for this one, you'll just need to get your guitar tuned to open D Vestipole tuning, for which, uh, well, the tuning will be below in the info section. Uh, of course, you'll need your bottleneck slide and you'll be good to go after that. So what I'll do is go through the song once, that is again an abridged version just like the previous John Fahey instructional video I did. So I'll just do one A section and one B section. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> See that there, and positioned around the, the middle of the neck, and of course pointing up. And from there, if you kind of wiggle your hand back and forth, left to right, using your your thumb as a fulcrum point, then you'll get a nice even slide that will be you know using good technique, and it won't hurt your shoulder or your arm, or tire your arm out, or do anything like that. So. The other thing to mention for this song is that throughout the song it'll pretty much just be an alternating bass between the bottom string and the D string. Okay, so sliding into the ninth fret on that B string, back to the seventh, and then back to the fifth. Now the other thing that you'll want to play around with will be the open G string. Now that will mean you'll have to make sure your slide stays below the G string. So it'll only it'll only just be kind of creeping up the fingerboard just up to that B string and it will have to stay very clear from that G string so that it won't uh, interfere with the string being able to ring out. So and you can of course play around with this. that you'll really want to of course accentuate no matter what you do play will just be those slides in between the notes whether it's sliding in or sliding from from above you know you don't want that really um, overly clean almost classical sound maybe you could would be the correct adjective where, where you just go you know, you really want to... And 
so combining that then with the alternating bass line. <laughs> When you come into that, you'll want to pinch both the bottom string and the G string. So then you get a major tenth. So basically a major double stop, but with an octave. And then plucking that B string. So. slide into that 8th fret, 
I don't pick that B string again. I'm already using the the ringing string from having already picked that note to just make that sound when I then slide into that eighth fret. Okay, so that's a bit of a handful. So what I'll do is just show you. Um, you can hear that it's still a double stop, but I didn't pick that B string. I'm just letting it ring out, and having that economical approach when you're playing uh, Fahey songs on the bottleneck is really important because he was so good at that. So with the alternating bass, and back up again. So when I do that, when I go up there again and I come back down, this time I'm going to come back down the 7th and then the 5th. Then I repeat that whole sequence, those two sections, one more time. Uh, my bad, I, you don't repeat that the entire time. You play that coming up once, and then you go to the seventh fret. section and he might do another A after that, but I'm pretty sure after that B he's done. And that pretty much covers the song, so uh, this one's a fun one to just mess around with and play one of those campfire song kind of tunes, so yeah. Uh, hope you got something out of this one, thanks for watching, if you've got any questions let me know.